This message, listen, this message is for all of those ears who's had a desire to go on. This is your way. This is your way forward. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Colossians chapter 4 and then verse 3. That God would open unto us a door of utterance. Say a door of utterance. A door of utterance. What is this door you say? It's a door of utterance that might be or might not be open to you. Mm -hmm. With all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, that I may make it manifest. What do you suppose makes it manifest? The speaking. Mm -hmm. The door of utterance being opened and you speaking walking through it speaking walking through the door speaking mm -hmm. say I walk through the door, walk through through the the door. door. Speaking. speaking what if you don't speak you don't walk through the door and you're not walking through the door mm -hmm. that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak how ought you to speak in a way that makes it manifest mm -hmm. are you here listen the door being open is the first manifestation what do you do to go through that door speak words so here we have in this society a door that's open to us by the speaking of words can you hear that yes. we have a door that has been open to us I don't like it that way you know what then you don't like this verse of Scripture we have a door that's been opened to us. Is this scriptural? Mm -hmm. We have a door that's been opened to us by the speaking of words. Words that were not spoken by other people before. Therefore, they couldn't come through this door. Mm -hmm. What words do you say? I worship you, Holy Ghost. Words that we've been given to utter that open a door for us. I hope you can hear this. That wasn't open before. And now when we go through that door by uttering those words we stand on the other side of a door in a different place in a different glory so to speak are you here yep. so here we have a door of utterance made manifest to us and some willingly enter others don't and refuse to flat out right reject it well if they flat out reject and don't go through that door of utterance will they receive what's on the other side of it it's not possible scripturally that God would open unto us a door of utterance and like I said if the door wasn't open and you didn't utter it you don't go and see what's on the other side of that people that want to criticize me for worshiping the Holy Ghost as God oh we don't do that I know you don't do that that's why you can't say what I'm saying or see what I'm seeing mm -hmm. verse 4 that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak so here we see that it is the speaking that makes it manifest say it's the speaking, it's the speaking. that makes it manifest you do the speaking and it manifests say I do the speaking, do the speaking. and it manifests. it manifests if you don't do the speaking you don't get the manifestation well the fact is if you don't worship him as God you are limited as to how far you can go with him the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today if you don't worship the Holy Ghost in this life mm -hmm then you're limited as to how far you can go with him as God in the earth today using the words I worship you Holy Ghost opens a door for you 
and then what you say on the other side of that door is you walking with him as God in the earth today what you say walking with him has to be what he has said we speak in agreement with him when you speak in agreement with him you're walking with him when you're not speaking in agreement with him you're not walking with him you're walking by yourself what you say on the other side of this door of utterance is an act of righteousness say an act of righteousness, act of righteousness. and this act of righteousness takes you from one glory to another glory and we see here the transforming power of the spoken word of god this message listen this message is for all of those ears of the hearer who's had a desire to go on this is your way this is your way forward this is your day to hear the words that will take you higher that you've not heard before so listen hebrews chapter 11 and then let's look at verse 5 by faith who enoch. Enoch. enoch by faith enoch was translated say enoch was, enoch was translated who else was translated in his day zero peoples mm -hmm. so he did something mm -hmm. that other people weren't doing and what he did caused him to be translated meaning he went from one place to another he went from one glory to another glory mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. because enoch did something that other people weren't doing by faith enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because god had translated him for before his translation so before God translated him he had something it says before his translation he had this testimony what is a testimony it's something you say mm -hmm. say a testimony, testimony. is something you say. something you say so he had something he said that pleased God so by him saying things that pleased God he was translated from one thing to another mm -hmm. right we see the transforming power of this righteousness in the life of Enoch. Mm -hmm. You underestimate the transforming power of the spoken word of God. I don't care who you are, you're still underestimating it. We can see what it did to Enoch. The Spirit of the Lord says, I will take you to glory. Does this sound right? Mm -hmm. But there's levels of righteousness you must go through enoch was a preacher of righteousness and demonstrated it a righteousness that you may know little or nothing about romans chapter 10 verse 3 for they being what ignorant, ignorant of god's righteousness is it possible for people to be ignorant of god's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness they're ignorant of God's righteousness and they go about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God verse 6 because now he's going to talk about what the righteousness of God is but the righteousness which is of faith speaks the righteousness which is of faith speaks verse 8 but what saith it so the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word the righteousness of faith says the word the righteousness which is of God mm -hmm. says the word says the word what is saying the word mean speaking the word mm -hmm. you want to be in the righteousness of faith you must speak the word remember Enoch was translated by having a testimony he was speaking mm -hmm. the word mm -hmm. and when you speak his word you enter into his righteousness mm -hmm. 
say when i speak his word i, speak his word, I, enter, into I enter into his righteousness his people that get mad at me for saying what god said what's wrong with them his word equals his righteousness enoch was a preacher of righteousness noah was a preacher of righteousness abraham was a preacher of righteousness of saying what god said and when he said what god said it was imputed to him for righteousness mm -hmm. romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations when god said this to abraham was that true as far as abraham was concerned no he was childless. he wasn't the father of many nations he wasn't even the father but God said I have made thee as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him that word could be like like him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were so Abraham had to begin to call himself things which be not as though they were in fact he changed his name he said I am abraham which meant father of many nations yep. he began saying what god said say abraham, abraham. began saying, saying what god said. god said remember his word is his righteousness mm -hmm. god yep. and when we begin to say god's word we take upon ourselves his righteousness mm -hmm. Abraham began saying the same thing God said verse 22 says and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness what was imputed to him the thing he said mm -hmm. so the thing he said had to be the righteousness of God we've already seen that are you still here yeah. so his word equals his righteousness speaking his word is an act of his righteousness mm -hmm. say that speaking, speaking. God's, word god's word is an act yes. of god's righteousness. god's righteousness get that straight when you're speaking god's word you are performing an act of god's righteousness is there any benefit to this ask Abraham ask Enoch ask me <laughs> Acts chapter 2 verse 16 but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel what were we talking about here this was he was speaking specifically about the Holy Ghost coming into the earth on the day of Pentecost right mm -hmm. this was that which was spoken by the prophet joel so the holy ghost moved into that which was spoken in the earth his entrance into the earth came through that vehicle he entered into that which was spoken and he does not veer from it to this very day if you want to walk with the holy ghost he is in that which was spoken if you heard that you can get a billion miles out of it when you speak in agreement with the word of god you enter into his righteousness and that which was spoken it's not your righteousness it's his righteousness right mm -hmm. the holy ghost's entrance into the earth he entered into that which was spoken mm -hmm. if you want to walk with the holy ghost as god in the earth today what are you going to have to enter into that which was spoken are you getting this mm -hmm. well i would like to walk with the holy ghost as god in the earth today well first of all worship him and then start to speak righteousness and speaking righteousness is speaking what he has already said mm -hmm. you enter into that which was spoken you want to walk with him you must enter into that that <laughs> are you here yeah. i think i'm making it clear i think maybe people don't like it that plain 
you want to walk with the Holy Ghost you must you must enter into with him that which was spoken not some other thing not some other way I know you wanted some other way we already covered that he entered into that which was spoken you must enter into that which was spoken a door opens to you when you do mm -hmm. I enter into and walk in the glory of that which was spoken say that I enter into, I enter into and walk in, and walk in the, glory the glory of that, that verse, verse which was spoken like Enoch we go from glory to glory by speaking and our speaking pleases God when does your speaking please God say when I say what he said I please God. I please God. Welcome to the righteousness of faith. So, like Enoch, we go from glory to glory by speaking. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. What's the number one and most important part of your body? Tongue. Your tongue. Is your tongue part of your body? Yes. Yes. What are you going to present to God? Your tongue, a living sacrifice, meaning you're going to begin saying what He wants you to say, which is an act of righteousness. Yeah. Are we here? Mm -hmm. Present your bodies, a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, or could be translated spiritual worship. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed transformed means changed from one thing to another was Enoch transformed mm -hmm. that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God mm -hmm. if you're going to prove the good Word of God prove the acceptable Word of God prove the perfect will of God it has to be in your mouth the perfect only comes with the word only in your mouth you put away childish things you put away things that are not the word mm -hmm. you put it away you used to say it mm -hmm. but you don't say it anymore well here we can see three levels of glory in this one verse of scripture mm -hmm. it's glorious to be in the good will of God if we go beyond the good we get into the acceptable will of God are you seeing this I'm just not making it up I'm just trying to put it out there three levels of glory good acceptable and perfect will of God all are entered into and obtained by saying you want it some other way it will never be any other way as long as you are in this earth I would imagine even in heaven but as long as you're in this earth everything was made out of words the Holy Ghost entered into this that was spoken that's where you are so all of these three glories are entered into and obtained by saying the first utterance is a door of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost causes you to enter into a room a door pass through a door of utterance I worship you Holy Ghost into a place that you weren't before then you can begin walking with him as God in the earth today it's a glory that not everyone is willing to obtain or to enter the second is the one I've been talking mostly about tonight which is the righteousness of God that you obtain by speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost it's a righteousness you obtain by speaking mm -hmm. so you learn to speak in agreement with God's Word you put away childish things you begin saying only what God says and it's the righteousness of faith it's imputed to you and there is a glory that comes from those things being imputed to you being manifested to you mm -hmm. and for you utterance makes it manifest that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak 
the third glory is his glory seen on you say his glory, his glory seen on me seen on let me ask you a question you think you're gonna get to the third one without going through the other ones not gonna happen he will take you to glory but you have to go through those levels of righteousness I'm telling you I've been here I've seen it you dig down through the layers of the speaking the Word of God by saying it enough and you behold his glory in it and then you transition from believing for it believing for it believing for it to becoming it that which was spoken who came into the earth in that which was spoken Holy Ghost you walk with him you learn to walk with him you become that which was spoken his glory becomes visible and is seen on you Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee we go from glory to glory speaking and his glory shall be seen on thee this is that which was spoken mm -hmm. is this something that was spoken by the prophet Isaiah yeah. yes. we enter into it the Holy Ghost has already chosen to enter into it into this earth and as we begin to say it and say it and say it we behold his glory in it and we are changed into the same thing we leave one thing behind and we go to this one we become this that which was spoken mm -hmm. Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this word this evening and are being changed and things that they've heard will begin to rise up in them things that they didn't understand before will begin to come together like pieces of a puzzle and they will begin to see they'll begin to understand and things will make sense now that didn't make sense before we thank you that this is all part of the process of being changed from one glory to the next and we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you, I worship you. thank you for changing me into something I wasn't before taking me from one place to another place from poverty into great wealth wealth is part of your glory in this last day and we worship you holy ghost in it in jesus name amen jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to 